If you're new to the Cardano blockchain and you're wondering where on earth you can find all these resources that talk specifically about the blockchain itself, I've got a whole list of resources for you in this video coming right up. Hey everyone, I'm Peter Bury. If you're new to Cardano or new to blockchain in general, I've got a whole bunch of resources here for you. Make sure you give me that thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the notification bell and you get a lot more from me. Now, these websites have been around for a little while, but these projects have been building out academies and learning resources. So one, you can learn more about blockchain and learn more about Cardano, but of course, a little bit more about the products that they're building as well on the ecosystem. And th th these ones are pretty cool. Let me just pull up the first one here for you. Now, this one is from the team at Cardax. Now, they haven't launched their decentralized exchange yet on, uh, on the Cardano blockchain, but they've put out a whole lot of learning resources that you can crawl through and learn more about the Cardano blockchain itself, everything from the Ouroboros protocol, which, which runs the state pools itself, all the way down to how the blockchain works and everything else around it. So it's a really good starting base for anyone that wants to get into the Cardano blockchain. There's a lot of things here that you need to go through uh, to get a really broad understanding, but it's a really good starting point. Now, Adana have also put out a lot of resources here in regards to how their platform and how it works and all ties into the Cardano blockchain. Adana are bringing out a decentralized foreign exchange platform for stable coins on the blockchain itself. Now they go through a whole bunch of things talking about how decentralization works, how the blockchain works. So a lot of the bare and basic fundamentals of blockchain, which are really, really good to get, get uh, down packed and really understand. But then they dive deeper into smart contracts and how things work on the Cardano blockchain. And then they talk about how opportunities in yield farming and all sorts of things uh, work within decentralized finance, which is where most people want to learn and understand more about. So you can go through all their courses here. I know there are some videos that accompany this as well. I just can't find them at the moment, but when I do, I'll make sure I'll put them in the links down below for you. Now the Genius Academy here, this one's from the Genius Yield team. Now they are pioneering some really cool and interesting aspects in DeFi 2.0. So it's the evolution of decentralized finance on the blockchain and taking it to the next level. So some of these really cool and innovative features such as AI is being plugged into their platform itself. And this academy not only teaches you about their platform, but some of the bare basics and guides that you need to know about blockchain in general. Everything from NFTs, what yield optimization is to get the best returns from uh, applying your crypto assets in some of these protocols, to Web3 and some ISPO aspects, some really cool and innovative things on the Cardano blockchain itself. Now there's a whole bunch of videos on here as well. So if uh, if you prefer watching videos, you have really nice short videos here. They're about four minutes each. That goes through all these different aspects and you can learn quite a lot from these uh, short videos. Now they have a huge amount of articles that go through all sorts of different aspects around blockchain and technologies and, and things that are building on the blockchain itself. You can crawl through this for ages. So it's uh, they started, I think, writing back in April. April, uh, I think it was April. So you can see there's a lot of stuff there. You, it will t just take your time. Go through all these resources. Absolutely brilliant. Now they do have some brilliant minds behind the academy as well. So, so Lars Brunej, who wrote the Plutus Pioneer Program, taught essentially the first cohort of Plutus smart contract developers on the Cardano blockchain to go out there and build all these really cool dApps. We also have Loic Stabu, who is a brilliant lawyer and works around the uh, legal space when it comes to tokenomics and launching tokens. And Christopher Fox, who has been working around the uh, startup and blockchain space for a very long time as well. So these are experts in the field and really know what they're doing. And they put together all the resources around this to help you guys learn more about blockchain and how it works in the Cardano ecosystem. Now, also, if you want to learn more about uh, Genius Yield and their decks itself, you've got links and references here to explain the videos specifically about the decentralized exchange and how some of these really cool innovative protocols are going to work on the decks as well. So there's, a, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of videos there that you can go through. Um, I'll just open up one here. Uh, the one, the thing I love the most about the evolution of DeFi is the movement towards 
no impermanent loss. And there are a lot of resources that talk about this. When you're providing liquidity on a DEX, there is that risk of impermanent loss. Tokens go up and down in price and you can lose your money. <clears throat> But these brand new DEXs that are coming out reduce that to almost zero. And I'm really looking forward to that because it means you as a person that is providing liquidity will have that risk reduced dramatically and makes it more worthwhile for you to actually provide liquidity. Now, this is all good if you're a user on the blockchain, if you're just uh, providing assets and you're trying to find a return on those assets. But if you're wanting to build and develop further on the Cardano blockchain, this is probably for you here. So if you haven't yet seen the Plutus Pioneer program, if you're new to the Cardano blockchain, this is probably where you want to start. So Lars Brunej is the, I think his title is um, a lead educator at IHK, and he's put together the original Plutus Pioneer program that I talked about a little bit earlier. You can get to them on YouTube. There are 10 lectures, they're an hour long each, with homework and tasks that you need to do so that you can get up to speed and learn how to become a Plutus developer. Now, this is just the start. This is the initial starting point. After that, there's evolutions of the Plutus code where you can learn Plutarch, which is a little bit harder, but more optimized. So there's a lot of things to go through there and learn more about how to actually develop smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain. Now, if you have a really good Haskell programming background, functional programming, then you probably pick up Plutus really, really easily. But if you don't, you probably want to start with learning Haskell yourself so that you have that, that really good foundation and fundamentals in functional programming and how Haskell works. So I highly recommend before deep diving into Plutus, if you don't have that background, check out this course right here uh, that talks about learning Haskell as a foundation. If you're used to more traditional ways of programming, such as MVC, uh, model view control, or uh, object oriented programming, functional programming is a little bit of a leap because it's a different way that you need to think in terms of programming. But uh, that's totally cool. You probably will be able to transition over to it. But if you're not a really skilled developer, if you're not good at developing itself, the other side of programming in smart contracts on the Cardano blockchain is with Marlow. And Marlow is a low entry point for smart contracts where you can build smart contracts with a drag and drop interface. And this here is a Udemy course that I found, which takes you through that process of understanding of how to write smart contracts with Marlow itself. Now I've done a video on an overview of Marlow before. You can get to it in the top right hand corner there and you can find out a little bit more about how Marlow works. I absolutely love it. I think it's uh, probably a a really good way that developers and uh, business analysts are going to start writing smart contracts in the future. It may not be the final product, but at least it will be a really good starting base for a lot of developers or a lot of smart contracts, which can then be optimized and improved and made a lot more secure in the future. Now, this here is a course that I built for Cardax around Project Catalyst. Project Catalyst is the governance layer for the Cardano blockchain, the innovation layer that is helping to build and innovate the future of the blockchain itself. So it has a self-funding treasury and it users can submit proposals and the community votes on those proposals. And in doing so, it self-funds that development. Really, really cool. You can go through this course and get a really broad overview of how Project Catalyst works, all the ins and outs, and also how you can participate in all different types of aspects, everything from submitting your own proposal to becoming an advisor or purely just voting on the proposals in the ecosystem as well. So really good, broad overview. And of course, all the videos are there for you as well. So if you don't like reading, you can listen to the audio, watch the videos, they're all quite short and cover the, all those aspects for you too. So we covered aspects around the Cardano blockchain, where to start, beginner topics, specific academies for various projects in the ecosystem, how to start as a smart contract developer in the Cardano ecosystem using the Plutus Pioneer program and also the Marlow courses as well. And then also some information about how to get started with Project Catalyst. So that is all well and good. That's a really broad understanding, but it doesn't cover everything that you might need. Now, this one here, this is our own website. This is Learn Cardano, and I'm putting together a whole bunch of uh, courses and learning materials on there so that you can 
really get a broad understanding of some of these other topics that people aren't covering. So this one here is a wallet tutorial that I put together, a wallet course I should say, and it takes you through all the basics of everything that you need to do and learn to set up your wallet on the Cardano blockchain. And all the options that you have, there's a lot of wallets in the Cardano blockchain that you can choose from. And then eventually I'll go through and write the course material for all these wallets as well. Unfortunately, all these guys, uh, all the developers building out these wallets keep on changing things. So it's really hard to get a course uh, done for some of these wallets because they keep on changing, they keep on evolving, they keep on improving. So that means I have to keep improving these courses as well. But you can get to all that on our website, learncardano.io. Now, I'll also be doing some really cool nifty courses for various projects in the ecosystem. So if there's a project that you want to learn more about, maybe it's Genius Yield, maybe it's Fluid Tokens, maybe it's Flack Finance, whatever it might be. I plan to put together a course for those projects and as you go through and complete the course, you will earn some of those tokens. So it's that lovely learn to earn, no, earn to learn, learn to earn platform where you can actually learn about the protocols, the platforms, the DEXs, all these really cool things that are being built and then actually get some of their project tokens in the end and use it in their ecosystem. So I think that's a really cool way to introduce a project that you might be interested in, learn about it, get all the fundamentals down packed, but then also earn some of their tokens so you can actually participate in the ecosystem as well. So make sure you jump on our website, subscribe to the newsletter there and you'll get updates as I roll out some of these courses and these mechanisms in regard to claiming some of the tokens for these projects that are going through. Now that's it for me for this video. If you really enjoyed this, if you got something out of it, or if you want to learn something else different, you got a question, leave a comment down below for me. I'll fill in the blanks and put out some more material for you guys so you can learn all about the Cardano blockchain. But that's it for me for this video. And if you really enjoyed it, please consider giving me that thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell, and you'll see me in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano podcast. Gotta get it hype. Crypto is what we like. But this is not investment or financial advice. Gotta do your research, cause it's risky. We know it is. This show is educational and it's informative. Crypto's the future, really, it ain't no debate.